We are at Sheffield, the town of murals. Apparently, apparently there's 60 of them throughout yep. town, but we won't be able to see 60. And they, they started, this was inspired by a Can Canadian town at a declining economy, so they they drew these murals to attract to, tourism. Yep, to attract tourism. So a mural is commissioned, so it's paid for and it's done um, by artists, whereas graffiti is unpaid for and usually not done by an artist. Cheese Grass Cow U. Cheese factory? Is it a cheese yeah, factory? It's called cheese factory. Yeah. <laughs> that fresh manure smell. So fresh you can taste it. Ashgrove Cheese Factory is a 100% Tassie family owned, award winning paddock to plate dairy that began in 1908. Here you can taste and buy cheese, ice cream, and condiments or dine in at the cafe. So I got a cheese tasting plate. So six cheese on it. And that is what they are in order. And what did you get? Ice cream. It's very good. Is it? Yeah. What flavour did you get? Strawberry. So we are just at Christmas Hills Raspberry Farm and Cafe. See what's in there. Raspberries, I guess. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Maybe cheese or no. Maybe. So we're just grabbing a, a little bit of food at Raspberry Farm. Can't come to a raspberry farm without trying trying anything. Mm -hmm. Today's gonna be a day of eating stuff. Christmas Hills Raspberry Farm offers the tastiest treats and meals featuring the freshest raspberries sourced on site. You can also explore the grounds by taking a stroll along the lake to see wildlife and the raspberry farm itself. Second ice cream of the day. Yes. This one is cookies and cream. We're going to do a taste. Ready? Mm. Have it. We're now at the truffle farm in Dalarang. Dalarang? Yep. Yeah, that was right. Home of Australia's first black truffle. Yep. Looks like it's just a little hut. So we just tried um, truffle oil, truffle vinegar, honey? truffle mustard and truffle honey. The honey I really liked. They're all, I think they're all good. But um, Simon bought something. Some dry truffles. Because I don't know if we can bring fresh travel on the ferry back to Melbourne. So this is all sealed. So we should be fine. Yep. Stay tuned. Yep. <laughs> We're at Hazel Bray Hazelnuts. Oh, where's my nut? <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> So we're at Cataract Gorge. Going to see some peacocks. We were going to um, do this tomorrow, but we had plenty of time left today, so we're doing it today. Yep. Get on the chairlift, see what the view is like. It's pretty busy here. Yeah, it is. Car park's almost oh. full. Yeah.
Yeah, we're just gonna check into a hotel for the night. The Dragonfly Inn, which is the name of the inn on Gilmore Girls. Not the same inn, just the same name. So. Dragonfly Inn. Yep, Lorelei's Inn. Mm -hmm. If you know, you know. So we just arrived at the Dragonfly Inn. This is our room. The Claudia. Very nice. Big rooms. Very unique hotel. It's basically like a house, but every room is your, one of your like. Is it our own personality? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they have this common area, the living and dining. How cool is this? Oh, Have a meet and greet at six to six thirty if you want to meet other people staying here. And we get um, breakfast. That's the Claudia. That's our breakfast in there. After checking into our hotel, we went to Penny Royal where you can cliff walk, zip line, see a waterfall and eat and drink at restaurants and bars. We then explored the town centre of Launceston and finished the day by going for an evening walk at Seaport.